Hello my viewers. Well it's been about a year now since I've been living with the Honeywell uh, Prestige thermostat. I just wanted to give an update on well uh, how it's been. Well it's been great. At first the uh, remote control sat on my wife's bed stand until um, I found that she really wasn't doing a whole lot with it because well, I get up early in the morning, and uh, she really doesn't. But uh, anyway, I do, and I like to know what the temperature is so I can dress accordingly. Uh, so every morning I do uh, look at it to see what the temperature is outside. I just touch the bottom. It doesn't take much pressure. Just the very bottom down here of the screen I've found is the best kind of a sweet spot where you can get the light on. And you can see what the outdoor air temperature is. Uh, and it's really handy. See again, just barely touch the bottom. And, the, and that screen, the display, just comes right up. And here is, of course, the outdoor air temperature and relative humidity sensor. Uh, it removes from the uh, case real easy. See, just like that. And, uh, by the way... The lithium batteries is a must. If you do not use lithium batteries, just like the instructions tell you, see, lithium only. At first I thought, well, you know, I can get away with not using lithium. No, you better use lithium or those batteries aren't going to last a week. Lithium batteries, just be sure that that's what you use on these sensors. I did make the mistake of mounting this on my east wall where the sun comes up and it it just heats up the uh, sensor and kind of gives you a false reading uh, for first couple of hours until the sun will rise and anyway, as you see it, right here is my uh, eastern sky and um, so you know you I did kind of make a mistake and mount this on my eastern wall. But to remedy this, I plan to put this inside of like a little birdhouse. Uh, not for birds to go in. Of course, I'll have to block that hole. But anyway, uh, I'll probably put that in like another video. Uh, either way, I do recommend either uh, mounting the uh, sensor on the north or south wall or um, like what I'm planning on doing is covering it somehow so that uh, the direct sunlight will not uh, give a false reading to the thermostat. So yeah, the only problems I've had with the Honeywell Prestige thermostat has been simply due to um, operator error. And uh, I'll just all it really takes is reading the instructions. So. Um, Keep in, that, keep in mind that you have to read the instructions. Don't take it from me. Listen to what my wife Becky has to say about the Honeywell Prestige thermostat. I've been laughing before. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Prestige thermostat because I do check what the temperature is outside. My neighbor even calls me, what's the temperature outside? Because i got kids that got to go out to school. So I said, okay, get up and look at the thermostat. Or just roll over the bed, look at the thermostat. And I can tell her what the, the temperature is outside. It is cool. That is cool. So you see, the remote control is actually a handy device in reality. Okay, Some people think that... The remote control is kind of questionable when it comes to how handy it is. Uh, I mean, I'll be the first to admit that neither one of us really pressed the, uh, the feature on here that allows you to control the air conditioner uh, with this device, which you can do. You can actually uh, press this button here that says this device, and it will the thermostat will sense what the temperature is wherever this 
device this uh, remote control happens to be, which, whichever room you're in, and you just carry it around. I, I, you don't want to put it in your pocket though, because it'll pick up like wrong temperatures, I think. <laughs> but uh, you know, you could carry it around with you, set it on a shelf or wherever you're at, if you, that's what you so desire to do. Uh, but I, like I said, I'll be the first to admit that that's not really something we do with the remote control. It's really the handiest part of this is knowing what the temperature is outside. And of course, I get people that laugh at me all the time. Oh, all I got to do is step outside and I can tell what the temperature is just, you know, just by feeling what, how cool or how warm it is. Well, it's actually a little... Uh, difficult sometimes when you get up in the morning to really tell what the exact temperature is and so I mean you might be having a hot spell or something like that where what we call especially it. if you're a woman and have hot flashes right and so you go outside and, you, and it could be 40 degrees outside and you're thinking oh this is great I don't need a sweater or anything although I know some men that have hot flashes too <laughs> Okay, you got me there. And Dudley too, huh? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. He likes to know what the temperature is outside. So, yeah, it's, it's but anyway, the this thermostat is the absolute best in the world in my opinion. And isn't this the most beautiful thermostat you've probably ever seen in your life? It is an HD color and it is probably, I think, the absolute best thermostat for residential and light commercial applications. This thermostat, as you can see, gives the uh, outside air temperature and relative humidity. Whoops, I just hit a button. And that's no problem if you do, you just hit home and everything goes back to normal. But anyway, Right here, um, it uh, tells you the outdoor air temperature and relative humidity outside because I have a uh, outdoor air temperature and relative humidity sensor. Um, and of course, the tells you what the indoor air temperature is, and these are your set points here. I've had some questions in regards to the uh, uh, the base plate. And to re now, first to remove this thermostat, it's very easy. Simply lift up on it like this, and it comes right off the wall. Let me zoom in here. Now, I've had some questions in regards to uh, the way I have this hooked up. Um, now, just to point this out, right here. By the way, I have a, a heat pump. Okay, which has. Uh, uh, two stage heat, one stage cool. O slash B is the reversing valve. And I have my orange wire connected to that terminal right now. The uh, uh, My reversing valve energizes in the cooling mode, meaning it's a cooling active reversing valve. If you look here on the auxiliary slash emergency terminal I have my white and black wire connected and the reason for that is because this thermostat does not have a separate W2 and a separate emergency terminal so the inner the heat strips will energize anytime this terminal is, is uh, actually uh, energized why is a call for the compressor first stage uh, I don't have two compressors so or two stages of cooling so Y2 is definitely not in use here in this application and some uh, commercial applications this would be used. Y right here as in yellow, see my yellow wire and a lot of times these are color coded properly which I try to do on my own equipment anyway or any equipment that I work on. If you look here I have my green wire connected to what is RC. Uh, RC is a 24 volt um, side of the uh, uh, control voltage and the reason I have that connected there instead 
of right here for G for, for calling for the um, blower motor, which is for the you know your blower fan, um, is because I want this to be energized all the time because I have a separate variable speed fan uh, drive. Right here I have my red wire connected to R for 24 volts. So you see really the 24 volts is connected constantly to the green wire. Um, and the reason you have a separate R and RC and you see there's a jumper here is in the event that you actually have a separate transformer that would control your uh, cooling. And some thermostats you actually have a separate RC and RH which in case you actually have a separate control voltage transformer for the cooling and the heating. Now this is something that is extremely important. C for common. 24 volt common is extremely necessary. That's the blue wire here. You're going to have to be sure that you're getting a 24 volt common as well as 24 volts uh, coming in. Both, both sides of the transformer have to come into this base plate. Otherwise this thermostat will not operate properly. Whereas in some cases, uh, like a, an older um, mercury stat, will not have a 24 volt common side connected. Uh, and that's because you don't, it's not real necessary on an old mercury stat. But on a digital thermostat, such as the Honeywell Prestige, it is very necessary. Uh, and some thermostats, uh, you still don't really need a common wire, but uh, you know, there's usually a place for it. Uh, as long as you want to keep replacing batteries anyway. The battery in back of this thermostat right here is mainly for keeping the memory intact so that you don't have to keep reprogramming this thermostat every single time you have to unplug it from the base plate. Now I'm going to put this thermostat back on the base plate. It just snaps right into position and as you can see it's uh, booting up again and uh, it's reading everything. Let's see. Now it's, gonna, it's trying to pick up the sensor, the outdoor air sensor. Now what I believe I'm going to have to do though, you see because I've unplugged this thermostat from the base plate and I'm going to have to go outside to the remote uh, thermostat sensor for the outdoors and uh, unplug the batteries and then plug them back in again and then it will uh, reestablish a uh, connection on the uh, frequency that it's operating. Now I'm going to unplug this uh, sensor from the wall. Instead of doing it like I said uh, about uh, removing the batteries, there is an easier way doing this. All you really have to do is press this button right there for a few seconds and release it and then it'll uh, allow the thermostat to reestablish connection with uh, this uh, sensor. See that button right? Right there. Right there. Put this right back on the wall. Where it goes. There. And there you have it. The outdoor sensor has been located right here. It didn't even take but a few seconds for for this thermostat to find that outdoor sensor.